Hey y'all, it's James. Uh, today I'm going to teach y'all how to make a pipette at home. Um, it requires really only a bulb that you can buy on Amazon or any other store. Uh, this is from work actually. Uh, my boss let me take it home as a souvenir. But anyway, so you're going to need a bulb, a straw of some sort, a sharpie, a semi-used candle, or anything that weighs about 10 grams, um, a weigh boat, and some water. Oh, and a scale. Preferably the one that weighs in grams. So what you're gonna do first, um, is you're gonna tear, you're, you're gonna calibrate the scale real quick. You're gonna make sure that the 10 grams is actually 10 grams about three times. So, turn it on. Hit tear or zero to zero the scale so that it's even. Place your supposed 10 gram weight. But you look at that, it's 10 grams. All right. Tear it. Typically you're supposed to do this every day when you come into a lab. Um, so that the instruments are ready for the day, but we're at home in quarantine, so whatever works. So yes, the scale is calibrated. All right, place your weigh boat on top, like so, tear it so that it should read zero. My scale is kind of weird, and it doesn't do that sometimes. I mean, you get what you pay for, right, on Amazon? All right. So, next up, open up the straw. Any straw works, but these nice fast food straws that are relatively uh, wider in circumference are nice because it fits nicely into the, um, the rubber gasket inside of the pipette. All right. Basically, jam this inside until it makes a nice secure fit. Right? And it should hold like that. So if you tug on this, it shouldn't come out. Right. So now we're gonna, because there are no graduations on this and we don't know how much volume this is gonna dispense, we're gonna mark it off with the Sharpie. Also, if you're having trouble with like your measurements, uh, make sure that the seal between the straw and the pipette is sealed because the vacuum needs to be created in order for suction to happen. All right. All right, so we don't know, so let's test out an amount. I'm gonna say 10 milliliters or 10 grams, which are one to one, are gonna go up to here, but we'll see. Oh. Too strong, too strong, too strong, all right. So when you think you have an amount, you want to keep it at that level and kind of mark it off. Because if it is 10 grams, well, it's pretty nice. Okay, that's about 4 grams, which is actually pretty good. I just need to swap like that. So you dump that out, tie this back to zero. And then now aim for a little bit higher to see if you can get five. Perfect. I should have marked it earlier, but I see where the water line is. I'll try it again, just make sure. If it hits 10, then yes. Excellent. So now we know that this line, it's a little hard to see, but that line right there is five grams or five mils and yeah that's how to make a pipe pet at home that's how to calibrate kind of <laughs> the best of your ability a pipe pet slide and a scale so with that in mind you can use this kind of for whatever i'm going to use it for this thing one sec
I am growing a garlic bulb because I wanted some buchu or some garlic tops. Um, this was planted, I suppose, or started on Monday on 420. And um, about a week later, it's already starting to grow some roots, which is extremely exciting. And it kind of smells like garlic. I mean, obviously. <laughs> But it's a very floral, like, new garlic smell. So, obviously, water is going to start evaporating from here. This entire thing is filled with uh, filtered water to start off this bulb. So, over time, water will decrease. I'm petty, and I like my pets for small amounts. So, honestly, the measurement thing is, the graduations is completely optional I just like to do it because it you know science but I just like to fill it up if you don't want to put graduations oh, that's kind of fun I also miss lab incredibly much so that should be enough and that should go right about there. boom a little spillage but it's okay that's that. All right, y'all. Happy sciencing. See you all later.